What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another review on the new Alternate Heads channel. This is a little different. This is not something you can just go out and buy. I mean, it's something you can kind of order, and I wanted to do something just like a little different. This is a custom figure of the Ben 10 Heat Blast by Action Jack Customs. I came across this guy a while back on Instagram, and he has been an absolute delight to talk to. He has constantly kept me up in the know. I, the moment I saw this figure on his Instagram, I knew that I was going to want it because of the fact that I love Ben 10 just as much as anybody else. Ben 10 was an absolutely amazing series growing up, and of course one of my favorite characters was Heat Blast, and he decided he was making Ben 10 figures out of 6-inch Marvel Legends, and it was astounding. It took me a little while to get this figure. I think I ordered it about four or five months ago, but, you know, he, he's... He's a popular guy. Completely understandable, especially after I got to play with this thing for a little bit. Completely understandable. I will definitely be ordering from him again. He was a shout out that we had over on our uh, Instagram page. Like, as you can tell, here, we'll take a look at the back of the packaging real quick. Because he's got his Instagram right there at Action Jack Customs. So, and he, one of the cool things is, is he made this packaging, this clamshell. You can order custom figures not just like heat blast and stuff like that from him but like if you had like a particular figure design you had in mind like i think someone wanted some version of like a teenage mutant ninja turtle but it wasn't actually one of the turtles but it was something similar he made it and then he put them in these nice clamshell packaging sh shipped it off when he shipped this thing to me it got to me in like two days because i think he uh god he you know he was just he was on top of it Kept me in the know the entire time, even though he, you know, it doesn't normally take him that long to get this kind of stuff done, but he, you know, he's a person just like anyone else, so I completely understand, I have no problems, and now that I have it in hand, I love it, and I cannot wait to get uh, another one of the Ben 10 figures from him. I would be willing to order all 10 of the main characters from him, as well as a Ben custom. This is so good. Now let's take a closer look. Obviously, you're gonna see the, the figure here in the clamshell packaging, which is awesome. Action Jack Customs right here at the top. Then you've got Heat Blast right here. There, you can see it looks a little funky on the inside of the packaging, but that's because he's reusing part of the Sunfire stuff that was in there, because that's the body mold that came from it. But if we take a look at the back, he's got a promotional shot on there, which is awesome. He's got another little logo right there. It says, with the, you know, there's with the power to command fire, throw fireballs, and even rock himself to the air <laughs> on a jet of flame, Ben Tennyson transforms into Heat Blast and explodes his way into battle. And then, of course, like I said earlier, Action Jack Customs, one of a kind custom figure. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. We're not gonna go too crazy uh, with everything in here because of the fact that, you know, it is a custom, so, but I do wanna put some comparisons and take a closer look at the body mold. All right, and here's Heat Blast out of the packaging, and you might be asking yourself, there's something a little, little thing missing from Heat Blast, but we're gonna get into that. We're gonna take a closer look at the figure itself. So if we take a look here, you can see all the nice sculpted detail he put into it. So you can clearly see where the Sunfire mold is, but he took off parts of the mask from Sunfire. He dremeled it all into here to make the face. And then of course he added all this extra detail and sculpting on top. And as you can kind of see, there's a little bit of little shine right there and a little bit of paint missing, but that's actually not his fault. That's my fault. We'll get into that in here just a second. Going down, you can clearly see that he's put in a little bit of extra sculpting detail. Looks great. Love the color shading where it kind of looks like magma rock anyway. It goes around all the way to the back. A little bit of fingerprint smudges here and there, but I cannot blame him. This stuff would be so difficult. I have tried my hand at custom work many times and I have gotten nowhere near this stuff. This is good quality work you can see it goes all the way down to the ankle fun fact when he was making all this on instagram he actually would do videos on instagram a little bit of paint missing here but like i said it actually works well with this figure uh, but he kept everything up to date on instagram and it was great take a look at the little feet he actually dremeled out the toes which is great part of it there's a little left over here oh sorry not in the camera view a little left over right over here 
A uh, little bit of filing could have probably done that, but I'm not going to be paying attention to those, so I really don't mind that too much. Just look at how cool it looks. And one of the best parts is, is all the articulation still there. I am a little wary at using the articulation just because of all the extra custom detail work that's on it, but we can take a look. This part is removable. So I can take that off if I want to, but then it exposes a little bit of paint chipping there. And, you know, then he doesn't have as much fire. And while this is technically the more accurate look for Heat Blast, why wouldn't I want this? That's the deal. But we took it off for a little bit. So you can see that the head can still move up and down and side to side. A little bit of tilt still because it is still Sunfire. You can get an ab crunch in there, but I'm trying really carefully not to do much because you can see there's a little paint chip from right there. But he's done a really good job at making sure that there's not too much paint chipping when you're going through. Uh, that was always one of my biggest problems is when I paint everything always chips. But of course you can get the arm up. You can do a 360, the bicep swivel is still there too, and there's sculpted detail in the bicep swivel so it doesn't get affected when you move it back and forth. Double jointed elbow, but I'm uh, trying to be real careful because I really don't want to ruin it. Um, that It could probably go a little further than that, but I don't really want to tempt it. And then of course you have the flame effects here, which are still sculpted in, so I can't move it up and down too far not that I normally. Uh, it does have the waist swivel still, he can still kick up that far. Of course, he can't really go back that far. Does have his double jointed knees, which just like anything else, works just fine. Of course, the little bit of sculpted detail still bumps, but that was gonna happen regardless, even if that wasn't there, because like I said, it's the Sunfire mold. This still works right here. You can actually still do a thigh swivel as well. And then of course, still move the ankles up, down, and rocking. Now, as we were saying earlier, something seems to be missing. Well, he did not forget the Omnitrix. The Omnitrix is usually going to be right here in the middle of the chest when it comes to it. And as you can kind of already tell, there is a mark for the Omnitrix right there. But he also told me he was including a little bit of an added extra accessories. And that would be these right here. These are different Omnitrixes. So we have the original Omnitrix, which just looks fantastic. We have a green one right here from when he does Alien Force, Omniverse. I know that's a little hard to see, but bear with me. A um, little bit of hard detail, but this is so small that I cannot blame him. And then, of course, we've got a red one, if I can get it. In there, right there. We got a red one for whenever the Omnitrix is about to flash. I probably won't use this one too much because I do like the green and the blue, uh, white one the most. But one of the cool added benefits that he did is he actually put a magnet right here in both of these. So all I have to do is pick whatever Omnitrix I want. And there you go. Now we have a completed Omnitrix version of Heat Blast, which just looks incredible. So you can easily swap them out. It's just not hard at all. You just take that one, you pop it in. And that's where I mean by the paint swab was kind of my fault. I got a little too eager and I dropped it too quickly and it chipped part of the paint. But I'm not going to see the chip paint whenever I have the Omnitrix on there. So it doesn't really matter. But this just looks incredible. This was a brilliant idea. You can use any extra flame effects on it too. Just amazing detail work. I cannot tell you how happy I am to get this. Now, the next figure I probably will get from him is probably going to be Ghost Freak because that one's a little bit cheaper. But if I could get something like Diamond Head next or Wild Mud or any of my other ones, that would be absolutely fantastic. All right, so we've got Heat Blast standing here, standing roughly about... Ooh, almost a little over seven inches because of all the flame on top of his head. All right, here's Heat Blast next to the body mold that we used. We had to actually buy another one of these figures in order to be able to do it properly. But here is Heat Blast standing right next to the Sunfire mold. And you can tell all of the work he did. Even though I knew this was Sunfire, if I hadn't been the one to have helped him get the Sunfire then I probably would have never figured out that this was it. But the fact alone that these two figures look so different next to each other 
just shows the good quality work that he put in there. Because I didn't even realize that Sunfire had this part right here that connected that giant flame piece to his back. So to see that he was able to kind of keep all that together is just incredible. All right, and here's my final comparison right now. We have the official Heat Blast figures that have come out so far. There are a few different exceptions and versions of them, but I don't talk about it too much on the show, but I do collect the other Ben 10 figures because that's more of a six inch style collection and I don't necessarily bring all the three quarter, four quarter inch figures there. But here we have Heat Blast, the custom one right here in the middle over to the left of it. You have the brand new Ben 10's Heat Blast from the reboot. I have watched a little bit of the reboot. It's okay. It's not perfectly great. It's not my cup of tea. But having bigger scale figures was just a dream of mine. So getting those are not actually that bad for $10. And then, of course, on the other side, you have the original three-quarter inch uh, Heat Blast from the original wave. That figure is old. So hard to get that thing to stand up. But... As you can see, you can kind of get the details. They're roughly around the same. Uh, you can tell that the one by Action Jack is way more detailed because he was going based off of pictures from the show, which is what this one here is kind of, you know, is from originally. So you can definitely see more of the detail from him from like on the sides and stuff like that. And of course, it's a little bit more cartoony. I don't know if he'll stand again. Uh, he won't. So, but you can just see that it's just phenomenal. Having these kind of guys in there is great. Like I said, if I could make an entire Ben 10 display, I would. But that's basically everything. I have to give another shout out once again to Action Jack Customs, man. You know I'm going to reach out to you again for a different figure. And just to overall talk, feel free to send us anything you ever want. And we will absolutely review it on the channel for you. Love his work. Once again... Go and check him out. He's Action Jack Customs on Instagram. Here is the back clamshell once again to give you his good old Instagram name. You know what? If we do this, I bet you we could even get a good thumb shot right, thumbnail shot right here. So good old Action Jack Customs. Go check him out. Absolutely love his work. Great guy. And thank you, everybody, for stopping by for this other Alternate Heads review. If you like what you saw, feel free to give us a like, a follow. You know, subscribe to the channel. We have an Instagram as well, which is Alternate Heads Podcast on Instagram. We do try to post there frequently. I have been a little behind on that. But once again, thank you for stopping by. We will see you all next time. <laughs>